Another morning, another high school senior spotlight as the kids continue to wait to return to class and play. Fox host Nick Krupke introduces us to a three-sport star and straight-A student at Glencoe High who's on track to become valedictorian for the Crimson Tide. Glencoe senior Jada Lee is a throwback All-American student athlete. Nice, Jada. Whenever people ask me what my favorite sport is, I always say it's whatever sport I'm in. Like All in, two all out of opportunities. <laughs> volleyball to hoops to track and field but now of course none of that is going on when you're alone and like you're training on your own every day like how do you stay motivated the first team all pacific conference middle blocker is also a honorable mention forward and glinko's all-time record holder in the discus and top 10 from the crimson tide in the shot put and quarantine life is tough the self-professed introvert. It is difficult especially like my grandma she's pretty high risk so if we want to be able to be with her we have to quarantine and so i can't be with any of my friends like at all no friends no fun but it's a full house of love with the lees it actually has been so great like i never thought i would say that but like it's actually been so great we've gotten so much closer kind of like worked out the kinks jada's father juan lee works her kinks to be an elite thrower while he is a throws coach at rival century high it makes for an interesting meet when we go against Century or Invitationals when I have like my Glencoe coach and my dad and they're both like telling me what to do. I'm like, okay. Who do you listen to more, your coach at Glencoe or father? They both help me with different things. And it's it's kind of cool because they'll all like from one throw, they'll both notice different things. Father knows best that his little girl is headed to Brigham Young University in the fall. I knew from a young age that I wanted to take my athleticism to the next level. And so I think it was, it's almost like, I, there was just like no other option for me. I was like, it's either that or nothing. Making the best of what's given on her road to study engineering in Provo. I love math and science, so <laughs> that's my thing. That thing she'll do is a BYU dream come true. Being able to sign has helped so much, not only with the motivation, but also just the disappointment of possibly not getting a volleyball season or basketball season or track season. And yeah. so it's really just helped me not get so sad. Come on, get happy. COVID has taken so much. I'm not going to let it take my happiness. What is it about being uh, with the Crimson Tide and being a student at Glinko and walking the halls that you guys haven't done now in 10 months that you still look forward to doing again? Even if we have a volleyball season or basketball, like I, I'm assuming no one's going to be able to come, you know, and that's just going to be really different. And I think that's what I'm excited for is just like the unity of it and just feeling like you're part of something bigger, you know? When you know, you know. With our senior spotlight. Jada Lee, you're a good kid. Senior salute to you. Thank you. Nick Krupke, Fox of Oregon.